Sports. Good evening, everybody. The Broncos coaching staff wanted to save the players' legs for their final playoff push. So the Broncos had a walkthrough today instead of practicing. They want the players to be as fresh as possible. Speaking of fresh, recently signed running back Justin Forsett was with the team today. The 31 year old had his best year in the NFL in 2014 with Gary Kubiak. You know, I'm a guy that when you see me coming off a bus, I don't wow you with appearance. Uh, I'm 5'8", 197 pounds, and uh, Coach Kubi didn't care. Uh, we had the experience with each other, and uh, he just trusted me and uh, just got opportunity. It was the right place, right time, and, um, you know, we had a lot of success. Now, I know it's only December, and the Rockies have plenty of time to find a true first baseman, but for now... It looks like Ian Desmond will be the Rockies' first baseman in 2017. The Rockies and Desmond agreed on a five-year deal that will pay him $70 million. Desmond has never played first base in the majors, a shortstop by trade. Played in the outfield last year for the Rangers. He was an all-star last year in Texas and an all-star when he played for the Nationals. The 31-year-old declined a qualifying offer from the Rangers, so the Rockies have to give up their first-round draft pick next year, the 11th pick overall. The Air Force men's basketball team could not do what the football team did this fall, beat Army tonight. The Fly Guys would lose on the road 79-71. to The CU men's basketball team pulled off an upset tonight against Xavier. Former UCCS standout Derek White, time winding down. It goes, hits the three. He put CU on his back down the stretch. He finished with 23 points as the Buffs win 68-66. Got to give it to the Nuggets tonight. They were down by as many as 29 points to the Brooklyn Nets late in the game. All they had to do was execute a simple inbounds pass and possibly tie the game. Nice catch, Holly. The Nuggets had the ball with 13 seconds left. The game down to three points, and Jameer Nelson throws it away. Can't find the open man. Brooklyn beats Denver tonight, 116-111. to 111. High school basketball, Manitou Springs and TCA. Jake Haas playing some good D, the steal and the easy deuce. Second half, Adam Selvage. Ooh, goes behind his back, gets the defender to slip, knocks down the J. The Mustangs, though, would win 63-49. to Now, did you see this photo that Trevor Simeon posted on social media this weekend? He recreated Peyton Manning in the cold tub, rehabbing an injured ankle while he was wearing a helmet three years ago. This is Manning. This is Simeon. Simeon wanted to get one thing straight about Peyton's photo. Well, I think I told Troy, I'd like to go on record saying uh, Peyton was flexing in his picture. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of heat that he looks uh, he looks stronger than me. So, got to clear the air there. Yeah. Did you hear from Peyton at all after that post? Yeah, I sent it to him before uh, before I posted it. So, pretty good. It does look like he's flexing. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. You know, yeah. knows the camera's there, even though he's pretending like it's not there. Who knows? <laughs> Only Peyton Manning can answer that question. Nonchalance. That's yeah. Right. Thanks, Rob. Mm -hmm.